Hello, John. Hi, Neil. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very good. Welcome back to the Cornish Quest, mate. Yes, yes. You, no, I missed, you were missed. I missed the last, the last episode. One. Uh, where are we today? We are at Budock Green. We are, yeah. This is probably Neil and I's most favourite nine hole course. I've, if it was an 18, it would probably be my favourite course. Yeah, absolutely. It's a stunning, well, I've described it as a pocket golf course, but it, it is, yeah. That's no disrespect to it. No, no, it's no. not a par three course, it's a multiple par course. Yeah. It's got the second longest par five in Cornwall. Yeah. Loads of trees, tricky little course, quirky on every hole. Oh, it's great. And it really about is. quirky, we've got Nick Cooper with us. Hi, Hello. Nick. Um, I haven't been described as quirky before. He's becoming quite that. a regular on this channel. Yeah. yeah. So, um, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, of course, if this is going out in the right order, you did fantastically at um, China Fleet. Your putting was excellent, mate. Yes, and um, almost as good as Neil Not Neil's. Exactly. You worked Isn't as a pair. Yes, we did. And with your, and with your you know, accuracy, long driving, we're in with a chance today. Accuracy. Uh, because it's a nine, come, come a bit closer, come closer, come closer. Right, because it's a nine hole course, we are going to play it as just nine holes. We could play it as 18 with two tees, but the tees aren't that different. Okay. So we're going to play two part video, yeah. nine holes, Oggy style scramble. Is that right, Nick? Yes, it's Oggy scramble. Oggy rules. Yeah, Oggy rules scramble. Oggy yeah, rules. Someone, scramble. someone made a comment about the fact that I wasn't playing enough shots in it to be classed as part of a scramble, but whatever. It's our scramble. It's our, it's it's our, our scramble. Party. We have to do it in a certain way. We have to. We don't have. To, we don't want to hold anyone else behind us. No. So we've got to, you know. We we just do it. Make in the, the best use of time can. there. What, what a lovely course. I mean, oh, first time, first time I'm here. Played here before. I have to say, it's, it's like a wonderful private, massive garden. It, it's exactly <laughs> that. It's basically a massive <laughs> private landscape garden yeah. that was turned into a hotel. Yeah, isn't it? And uh, it's stunning. It, this we are. This is in Morgan Smith or near Morgan Smith. It's a little beautiful village I drove through. Mm. You drove through some other villages because you came I down by the river. I drove through some roads that were narrower than cart paths yeah. in my 4x4. It, it's a fantastic way yeah, you drove, it's, but it's not it's, really it's, ideal it's, for yeah, you, anyone who's not a tourist. Both sides of the, the hedges, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad Nick got the memo today about colour coordinating. Yeah, very good, lad. Very good, blue, yeah. Grey yeah. yeah. out, not blue Looking out. very well. Anyway. So, shall we crack on? Yeah. We'll show Nick around the course. Yeah. Right, the first hole here at Budot Veen, 295 yard par four. Playing uphill, we've got a bunker right hand side of the fairway. Your line is going to be left hand side of that bunker. Yes, it is. Yep. There is a marker post going up the fairway, but Nick could probably cut that bunker off a little bit. I can cut that off a little as well. Great opening hole coming away from the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, there are actually, I did check with the uh, lady in the reception area. There, there are actually two greens up there. Yeah. So it's a little bit confusing if you've never played it before, but we're playing for the left hand green. Yeah. Well, right. Nick, so there's a marker post, bangs back in the middle up the top of the hill. Right, right for it. Oh, come around towards that tree. Oh, I've caught the tree. A shaky start, but. There is three of us today. Yes, I am going to have a few shots today. I am. Which time I there? Do. I think, yeah. Well, I'm not going to bother to take a shot because that is far better than where I'm going to go. That's what a low stinger, mate. A low sizzler. Very well done. Not sure I'm going to shot trace that, but hey, that's fun. <laughs> so, this is the windiest part of the course. I'm showing you, hopefully, both flags for both greens. The one at the back is the fifth. I'm going to pull this back. Neil's ball looked really good, looked up the fairway, but it must have just taken a bit of a left bank. And we are just in the trees, just under this beautiful pine tree. What club are you going with, Neil? I've got a picture where it's just trying to run it in. Yeah, but yeah you're probably, obviously, yeah. you know, we've got a big overhanging tree I, here. I think a lot went that tree. I yeah, think it's definitely cool. a tree. Just trying to run it, which is, um, not, my Not really your thing, but I don't think you've got a lot of choice here. Too long, better than too short. That looks very nice, though. So we're back. Just run through. Well, no, I, I did said, actually describe which hole we're going for. You've lovely shot for the fifth, though, mate. Can I say oh, when yeah. I when I said too long is better than too short, I didn't expect you to hit it too long. <laughs> no, no, not that long. I can leave that with you. I'm going to go get one. Okay. It's run quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you find it's quite a fast course, this. Not the most skilled at any sort of shots. 
Hopefully that'll kick in from the right. Right. Well, yeah, right, you, kick, you kick the little back. Yeah. Just on the back. On the back. Yep. All going okay. down on my nicks, I think. We're going to take a look. I've gone too long. You've gone a bit left. Nick should be right in the middle. Nick should be right in the middle. That's the plan. So, Nick is going to collect Neil's ball. Uh, mine's on the back of the green. This is Nick's. Well done. For someone who's not played before, well done, Nick. Quite a shot, though, to get that in in three. Thought we'd give it a go. Looks a bit right to left. Yeah, it looks a bit right yeah, to left down a hill. Up. We haven't had a chance to putt on anywhere practice today, so uh, a bit of a test of this. I mean, Neil's ball rolled across it quite fast. Didn't yeah, it, it looked lovely condition today. That's not going to make it. That's not fast enough at all. Okay. No, it's not that fast. It's all right, there. Uh, yeah, we're probably just getting a bit worried about that downhill slope, aren't we? But I think it kicks in just where Nick is now. Yeah. That looks good. Still not enough. No, no, it's just still not enough. Think. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a whack, then, aren't I? Yeah, it's off that right. Put it like about cup off the right. No, bad shot there. Sorry. Ah, oh, well. Well, we had right, a bit we, of a hash of that. Let's start off, didn't we? We got, we got a we got a putt from there anyway. Yeah, uh, we got a putt for a par. As you know, I've not really been playing much recently, so. Anything for me right now is, is fine. Green's feel a little bit spongy, which would be nice if he shot in. You might yeah. be able to hold the ball on it. I still think they were fast, lads. <laughs> well, I hit it. Right. Let's try and get this one in. Got yes, we will. Well done. Well done. Nice and steady. Glad that went in. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Not the sort of putt you want to be left at the no. end. You, you, I will say you did putt it like a professional, as in they do seem to like rock them straight in, don't they? Yeah, you got it. If they miss, they go flying past. Yeah. Better it's be that than do. not too short, as no, someone else no, normally no. is. Let's go to the hole number two. Okay, so we're on the second. There's the flag. It's a downhill and it's quite a slope when you get near the flag that drops off, if I remember rightly. We have been here for oh, about two years. Things haven't changed much on the course, but the course is in great condition. There are new signage, etc., which is brilliant. So we're going to get Nick to set up and Neil will tell us the deal. Well, a good par start. Second it, hole. It's a solid par start. I wouldn't solid put it good. Well, but solid. it's a great putt, mate. Well done. Second hole, 165 yard par three. Okay. Going down the hill, we've got a drop off at the back behind the green. Yeah. The green sort of sits on his own little pedestal down there. We've got a tree just here, short left. Um, trying to catch you out a little bit. Kind of get in your eye line, but uh, no. It certainly does if you're playing off the other tee. Yeah, but a good, the other side. good, good, a good little par three. Not easy. No. You've got to judge the run down the hill. Yeah, you can either play high or you can just you know knock it down uh, and let it roll. I'm sure, but do a five or a six for me, really. Well. We're really going to take something off it, I think. You're the player, it's your choice, Nick. That Great looked strike. very nice. Lovely strike. Pretty good. Watch the bounce. Ooh. I reckon that landed probably good on the green, there. didn't you? Didn't yeah. you have a big bounce, did it? Well, I think you picked the right club. Well, I, I hit what I wanted to hit. Yeah, it well, just I'm depends whether it held when it got the other side. I'm kind of betting on a bit of bounce and roll it. Yesterday. Yeah. I don't think we've played the course with it being quite so dry conditions. It's been lovely and sunny over the last week or so. Yeah, no, I think we've played it mostly winter time. Yeah. That's another little low, punchy one. Probably a bit of a roll when it got near the shot front of the green. Yeah, we'll yeah. have a look. How was that, Neil? Great high. I'm going seven iron and hopefully we'll rolling it yeah. towards the green. Oh, a bit of a slabby gun on it. Yeah. Not going to make it's it. It's running. It's alright. Ah. We're going to see where you two have ended up. You've been watching too much of the Olympics. I have, yeah. So like I said, I've not actually hit any real shots for ages. As, as that showed. 
Um, but I need to do a bit warming up today because we're going to be playing at my own my home course. Oh yeah, we're doing it on Sunday. Myself and Nick, we've done our home course. It's time for you to do yours. Do Morgan Port or Merlin as we used to know it. That's it. So um, one of you's on the green. Nick, yours ended up. It's mine. Nick is on the green. Well, we thought we thought Nick's actually bounced off the bat, but he just collected Neil. Well done. Well done indeed. You know, he's making a great start to a course he's never played, didn't he? Yes. You had a lesson yesterday, didn't you, Nick? I did. I had one actually with um, Jamie Crocker. Jamie Crocker from Hell so, Golf. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I'd lost my enthusiasm a bit because I've hit a few bad rounds at West Cornwall. I haven't broken 90 okay. for a few months. And um, what's nice about having a lesson, you know, Jamie's very good, it gets your enthusiasm back. Yeah, yeah. Gives it you something to practice that one on little now. Thing and... and it might take me a little while, but I've now, my posture, was awful before like this and now I'm trying to be much well I'm sure people will comment if they see the video you're much more erect these days Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah There's a Jamie Crocker erection specialist okay so another long part but this time it is for a birdie oh no it's not birdie, don't, don't leave it short no that's no but it's a bit of a drift to the that's left that's left and right so I have to say you know, I never thought that would have gone. I to thought the left. it was going that way, Bob. It's obviously coming in from the left here. I mean, that's. See, you could be a bit confused by the. It looks like the greenkeeper's kind of marks on the. When they cut it, it looks like it's gone the other way. That looks very good. Oh, it was there and thereabouts, wasn't it? Yeah, fiery. definitely from the left, doggy. Uh, I'll borrow your putter. You've changed putter again, haven't you? I've brought out. Brought out uh, you, you brought out that one again. I like the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like this one as much as your other one, mate. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> well, you had the best part of all of us, though. Well, yeah, I appreciate I had the best one of all of you, but it, it could have been a lot nearer. Well, this is, this is missable. We've got to walk Oh, it is missable. One. It's missable, but I got this, this butter in my hand. There's a bit of water in there, and I'll wash my ball at the same time. Sorry, I'm just getting this in the right position. I'm out of practice. Yeah, you've not been on camera for a while. Oh, never go. in doubt. It's good for that distance, but I don't like it for Do long, know, that, long that, took little, that was going left lip, and then at the last minute. Yeah. So, Neil, we've just parked up on the uh, third tee. We have, yes. It's This is our favourite place, our, our favourite New Dot Ving place. If I could own that house, I'd just stand there hitting balls all day. On We're going to show you a bit of it in a second. I think it's a holiday. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've, I've often said I just get up in the morning, hit a tee shot. If you don't go over down the fair and go back to bed, but it'd just be lovely, wouldn't it? So this is the third tee. We're playing very well. Nick's playing very well. He is indeed. He's doing very well indeed. I've got to say that because he's standing right over. Uh, anything else to say right now? No. Should we go on to the third? Let's, let's hit the ball. Right. Well, so just sorting out where the tee shots is. This is the house. That's beautiful. Lovely little house. And then you go around to where the tee shots are. They're not cool. So good. So good. Hole three is 237 yard par four. Now it kinks around lo viciously at the right hand side. Um, it's, a, it's sort of a, a tactical hole. You can't go for the green on this one. It is only short, but yeah. It's yeah, the car park's on green. the right hand side. You really want to go. The on the right, you've got trees on that right as well. So you want to be playing to the, the furthest right fir tree down at the end. That's 205 yards away. The closest tree to us on the left is 137. So you're only playing at like 170 odd yards, really. And it should roll, roll it a little bit. Should roll, kinks around, playing into the green, looking down on it, fantastic. That's the plan. <laughs> no, oh. oh, all right. I didn't hear it, did No, I didn't hear the car alarm go off from um, Nick's car, did you? No. Oh, Even chipping it down would be quite useful, you know. A little bit right to the left. Yeah, Could be on the left hand side right. by those trees, probably. Okay. Should be alright. It's quite windy, I will There's say. There's a bit that. of a breeze, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, 
We're going to find the ball, lads, because it's this wind is playing tricks on us. Yeah, right we'll be right. Okay. We'll find something. What have you got with the miles, you mate? 86. 86. 86. Okay. So we've taken Neil's. Nick's was a bit ropey. Mine was even probably worse. Um, well, there we go. Le lessons and lack of practice on either part there for both of us. Interesting little shot in though. Yeah, I mean, thankfully it's here rather than on the slope, but... Yeah, it's honest, anything on this left-hand side is good. Anything on the right-hand side is bad. So it doesn't really matter how yeah. far you are on the left-hand side, you've got a shot here. Quirky little shot, this. Love this one. 86. So a small green. You need to go high. It's Neil's done. That's long. Oh, oh, that's long. I think that's in the kitchen. You can, you can, He's a there. big boy. That's in the kitchen. That flew a little bit. That flew a little bit, yeah. What did you um, think, Neil? There's only like a three quarter fifty six of that. So there's a funny little dinky bunker on the left hand side. We didn't use much now. It's a bit of a shame. But I'm it's sure not very pretty. I'm just going to. You know, 50% sandwich, I think. Wow. Or even 25% sandwich. Mm. Okay, uh, well, you better give me a little nine iron. I think I better try and dink this down and see if we get a bit closer, gentlemen. Yeah, not good enough. Mm, not good enough, lads. Oh dear. Oh well. Oh dear. It's a different challenge when you've got small greens um, on a short hole. It's a different type of challenge, isn't it? Yeah, the little, little green is scary, I will say that. Yeah. So, um, well, we were far too, we played far too safe. After Neil's shot, we think we both got a bit... We well, that's right, after Neil's hitting his um, over, yeah. we got a little bit scared of it. So we, we can recover, we can recover and get up. I was scared to do a full swing on anything, I and I just messed it up there, but you know. So Neil's going to pick my ball up, because although it's closer, it's got a bit of a, yeah. a, bit of a bump in the way there. Yeah. So we're going to go for Nick's... Which was still an atrocious shot, but let's be honest. Uh, yeah, but, um, what can I say? A better atrocious shot than... Yeah, it's a lesser of an atrocious shot. We all get games like this, this happens to be at the moment. We're all doing it. Definitely different challenges, but it's a quite a challenging little course, isn't it? It's still one of my favourite courses, though. Yeah. That's a great shot. Isn't it? It was really good. Oh, it just oh, died on, on, didn't it? Get on, get on. It looked like it was all the money that was going to be you near know, the hole. That's exactly where I wanted to hit it yeah. and everything. It just, just caught just something a little, a little bit thicker, bit didn't more. it? Better. It's a long putt moment, aren't we? It's on the green. That could be better. Oh, it's taking a little kick left. It'll be interesting because we've got it surrounded by all at a fair distance. Yeah. Well, as you can see, the thing about you not being is you, have, you do have the hotel quite close to some of the holes. So, Sometimes, especially when you're like Neil and you hit a big high ball, then go over the back. So, I've probably got, gentlemen. Is it very tall? Oh. Tall, Yeah, probably, isn't it? Yeah. 15, 16 feet. Long way. Okay, anyone have a look at where we're going with it? I think it's the right clip. Yeah, probably too. No. It was right though. It was right. Yeah. We've done a lot of confidence today, so I mean, it's a bit strange in front of the camera a bit. We should be doing these for a birdie, really, not a par. Yeah. That's better. Just inside that right there. Better line. Oh, oh, unlucky Neil. Oh, that was it, mate. Good effort. Good effort. So, I'm going to let the lad chop this in. I reckon we'll drop our first shot. Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, these things happen, mate. These it things does, happen. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Happen. Yeah, it's a, it's a really quirky hole, honestly. We love it, because it's a great challenge. There was at one point, I believe, that we... Um, Nick just popped the ball in the, ball yeah. in the hole. 
Uh, we actually played this hole for fun once and just put loads yeah. of balls in different places, didn't we? Yeah, so just to see where it would run in and yeah. it's an interesting hole to play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can play lots of games on this hole. You, could end, up, on. you could end up in the kitchen if you... <laughs> you end up in the kitchen. Let's go on the hole number four and try and get improved, lad, please. Fourth hole, 345 yard par four, dog leg right, slopes away down towards the green. Um, you've got a drop off at the back, so quite a tricky approach in. So yeah, a bit of a blindish tee shot. There is a marker post, but we need to be drifting right at that. Yeah, and if you get a bit too close to the right hand side on the slope, yeah. you'll be down in the trees, aren't That's you? That's it, yeah. Yeah. Have fun, Nick. We'll do. Can't even see the marker post here, actually, but I know where it is there. Oh, he's cut the corner, which is probably in the trees. It may go through, it may not. Pretty good, but it's gone right to last. But we should be up there somewhere. Yeah, should be up there. Right then, Neil. Right, 175. Yeah. You might just see the flag pottery down there. There's a big drop off as well when you get near the front of the green. That looked very good. Got a little bit right. Yeah, but no there. bank Not right. Stand there. Yeah. See how we go. Again, very windy today. I'm going to try and shape it right to left, which I can't hit. Close the club a little bit. Got to get it low. No. Oh no, it's gone through, but it stayed straight. It might have gone with that light. I didn't, I didn't obviously start off straight enough. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's running. That's what I wanted, down the slope. Good shot. Well, then I'll get to see what happens. So as Neil comes back into shot, he's just taking his ball out of the bunker. Mine is um, a bit short of the green. A bit unlucky, really. One more little bounce down. It'd been on the green. A little skip and a run. It, there fine. was quite a slope from going back there. Yeah. Turning nicely. Yeah, got the right, got the right line, I think. Remember rightly, most things do kind of end up on the back of the green yeah. here. Could be good, it just kicked out a little bit left, didn't no, it? No, it didn't hit hard enough. Not going to come round. Okay, we better find a putt, lads. Right, so we're chasing John's because mine's got quite a severe uphill. Yeah, it's rolled round back, round the back though, about nine feet. So, from our side, it's a right to left. I was going to say, so we're we looking, it's going to go right to left. Yeah, it's going to go right to left a wee bit. Just Be trickled, scared. just trickled. Better. Oh, oh little nipper. I think I just didn't hit enough of that, really. Good. Oh, oh, Neil. Got to say, we're a bit unlucky with your putts today, Neil, to be honest. Two that have been so, um, uh, That's another shot drop, lads. Another drop, but... That tricky hole where you don't get started well. And yeah. I think that's the thing about you lot. Although a lot of course are the same, but you don't start well. You recover in your tee shot can penalise you, yeah, definitely. So, one more hole on this video. So, it looks like a bit of a tree damage or storm damage at some point in the bit winter. Uprooted? Yeah, lots yeah. of trees here. One oh, of the problems yes. we get here. Right, fifth hole. You've got 446 shot. Up hole, this. Four. Half hole sweeps from left to right, another left to right dog leg. Literally a right angle, it's, isn't it? It's a long 440 odd yards. Yeah. We'll, we'll give it a go. Let's go. That might be okay. It's going to be a little bit caught in the corner of those yeah, trees. Yeah, it depends on what we're going to get. Good, yeah. yeah, happy with that. Good.
That's a great shot. Probably cut the corner a little bit. It's what we'd hoped. Did I hear a clip of a tree then? It was a clip of a tree, but it did bounce down. Think I'm needed? I don't think so. I think you will be alright. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Let's carry on. So unfortunately, we're kind of on damage limitation again. The problem yeah. with this hole is you really have to get past that tree with your first shot. Then you get a shot into the green. We are blindsided by lots of trees. Neil must have caught the top of one of the trees and came down pretty much the same place as where Nick's was. Yeah. So we're going to have to chip this out, aren't we? Well, yeah, we're going to try to skirt it out and try to slide it a bit really low, but... Or hit the tree. That's going to be the problem. It's going to be the problem, gentlemen. Hmm. I'm just going to put one out there as the left, I think. I think we've just got to get one out there. Yeah, the slightly less aggressive line, Nick. Yeah, I think you have to go for it, mate. Yeah. You have a big choice. Yeah. I guess I'll run it through. It's a similar place to the thing. Yeah. Okay. We're still in play. Yeah. That looked very right, good. Right, eh, right inside. Oh, just pull the tree a little bit. Pull the tree again. Trees, honestly, this is this is this so is why Budot Vin can kill you. Yeah. It is. It's a, such a tough little course. Accuracy is absolutely key here, and we have not been accurate at all over five holes, have we? That looked very good. Right at it. Right at it. That looked very great, good. That looked a great shot. I don't, I don't see I should get any better than that, to be honest. So we're just pulling up at, by the fifth green because Neil is going whoop, whoop, oh yes, oh yes, from what I can hear. We, we hit it. You, yeah, you got, hit got it. it close. It's a royal we. We hit we. it really well. So it's close enough, hopefully, for a putt to scramble see, the par. See if we can salvage this. It's been, it's been a tough five holes. <laughs> But um, there will be another video with another four. We can recover this and get back yeah. onto these parts. And they're four good holes as well. They are four. Every hole here is good. They really are. Right, let's go and put this in. So I'm going to film it here. Nick's amazed that Neil got a bit of backspin. Yeah. From that shot. Yeah. Very yeah, well played. Yeah, I got, it. I got a proper one. Come on, let's finish oh. this. So it's at least start. End, end this video to start the next one really well. Got it. Oh, that'll do. Well let's, done. Let's sum up and down. That was such a such a better bit of confidence for you, wasn't it? Eh? Needed that. You did. We needed that. So that was a much better ending than it was a start to a video. It was yeah. Um, yeah we're so, shot, we are two over, but you know we can get some back on the next part. Well, I th I think I'm just thinking to myself as we were walking up to this piece to do this ending. Um, you don't have to be good at golf to understand that those last two shots were crackers. Thank you. The one on the iron onto the green and then that putt. Yeah. Bit of pressure. Hold on, Neil. So, yes, we are two over, but Budot Veen is a place where you need accuracy, and if we're not accurate, that's what you're going to get. We've got four holes left. We yeah. can get back to level now. That's the bit of a good, the goal for the next video. Be very, very pleased. So, thank you very much to Budot Veen and to the yeah. management, the staff here, and the members. We've met a few of them today and have been really lovely, as always. Honestly, come and play this course because yeah. you will not find a better nine hole be course. You won't be disappointed in this, Yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah. It's a cracker, it really is. And it's going to be tough. You'll learn a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Every time we've played here, we've learned a lot. Mainly that we can't play golf very well at times. Okay, let's crack on for the next video. See, See you in part two, everybody. See you in part two.